Hello, welcome to Fun with Drilling Engineering. During drilling, cuttings need to be removed from the borehole to prevent the drill string from getting stuck. To do this, we pump clean mud through the drill string into the borehole. It picks up cuttings back to the surface through the analogs. On the drill side, the cuttings need to be removed again from the drilling mud. In this picture, you see a vibrating screen which is called a sieve. The mud passes through while the cuttings remain on the shell shaker or sieve. The clean mud then returns back through the mud pump into the drill string for the next cycle. But if you come across a real mud conditioning system like this in this picture, you realize that there is just more than a shell shaker. The mud conditioning system can be complex and so we want to talk about it. What is going on in the mud conditioning system? The mud from the shakers move into the sand trap pit. Here all the heavy grains sink to the bottom. Samples can be taken here and the mud engineer finds out if there are too many fine particles in the mud or small gas residues or gas bubbles that need to be removed. And so for this purpose, the mud engineer can use different devices um, to take them out, like cyclones, centrifuge, the gasser, all this to remove the contaminants from the mud. When all these are taken out, the mud flows into the second pit. Here, the mud is checked again to ensure it is good enough to be used. Sometimes the mud engineer will find that some properties need to be adjusted or some ingredients need to be added. Therefore, the drilling mud moves to the mixing pit. Here, additives like weighting agents, conditioners can be added or even water is added to dilute the mud. This all takes place in the mixing pit and everything is carefully mixed and stirred up. Now I have to move to this side. <laughs> So now look at this side. Here we have the suction pit. The drilling mud arrives here when it is ready to be pumped into the borehole. The mud pumps take the mud from this pit, passes them to the derrick where it is pumped down the drill string for the next circulation cycle. However, not only the drilling mud is pumped into the borehole. Sometimes we have to pump a so-called peel into the borehole. Such a peel can be, for example, a viscous liquid which is pumped like a plug to thoroughly clean the borehole when required. Or sometimes a greasy peel might be pumped to free a stock pipe in the borehole. Those peels are prepared in what we call a peel pit. As you can see here. And from the peel pit, it's moved into the suction tank. And from there into the borehole as required. So now I move back again. <laughs> Of course, it's always possible that we have some gas in the mud. So when we have big gas bubbles in the mud, the gas could be dangerous for the drilling crew. If there are gas bubbles in the mud, we better quickly close out the blowout preventer so the gas does not escape to the surface. Then we'll let the gas out through a closed pipe into the gas separator. In the gas separator, the mud falls downwards while the gas is sucked off at the top to the flare, where it is safely burnt off. Here, it can produce such a spectacular flame, but that is only for the safety of the drilling team, as the gas can no longer endanger anyone. So now, we see the entire mud conditioning system again here. It takes a very large space on the drilling site, but we have learned in this episode that there is so much more we can do with it. So if you want to more details on what happens at the drilling site, come to our lecture, Basics of Drilling Engineering. We really look forward to see you. Look off.